What's going on, gamers? Today, we are going to go over how to install and use the Macaws Bridges Minecraft mod. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all future videos. Vanilla Minecraft blocks are notoriously lacking detail, so if you're trying to add some personality to your builds, you're a little bit limited. There are a ton of mods to fix this for different elements like furniture, plants, and more. But what about bridges? Whether you're looking for a way to travel over water, or if you just want to add them for aesthetic purposes, the Macaws Bridges mod adds a ton of bridge materials like rope bridges and rails to your game. Visit the Macaws Bridges CurseForge page and press files at the top to view all of the available downloads. Scroll down to find the version that you want to play and press the download button on the right hand side. Save this file to a safe location to use in just a minute. Head to the Apex server panel and stop the server, and then scroll down to the game file section and make sure you're running a matching version of Fabric or Forge to the mod. From here, enter the FTP file access on the left hand side, log in, and then find or create the mods folder and enter it. Press upload in the top left, and on the next page, you can drag and drop the jar file into the upload area. Wait for it to reach 100% and then you can use your server name at the top of the page to return to the main panel where you can restart the server. Now make sure you have installed the matching version of Forge or Fabric to your client side. After that, open the Minecraft launcher and head to installations in the top. Hover over your modded profile and then press the open folder icon. In the new window, find or create the mods folder and enter it and then paste the Macaws Furniture jar file here. Return to the Minecraft launcher and you can push play on your modded profile. Once you spawn into your Minecraft world, you can start creating and building the new bridges. For the most simplistic version, the basic bridge has railing and a solid base. These are great options for a more civilized approach or for wider bridges. Similar to the normal bridges, the rope bridges are a more simplistic design featuring wooden beams and ropes. This would be a great option if you're going for a wilderness or a treehouse theme. As the name implies, the rail bridge is primarily designed for the use of rails. The bridge itself has many support beams which add more realism to its functionality. Aside from the rope bridges, most structures aren't going to float in midair and they will need additional support. The support beam allows you to place your bridges up as high as you might need. When you're creating your bridges, you will likely need to work with multiple levels. Whether you're connecting multiple structures or you're just making an endpoint, bridge stairs are going to help you out. And if plain wood isn't your vibe, you can also use stone variations such as sandstone, bricks, and deep slate, which also exists in stairs and supports so that everything matches together. Finally, when you're placing bridges that are two or more blocks wide, you might notice that the ends are closed off, leaving no pathway to access or exit the bridge. By combining two iron ingots with three iron nuggets, you can craft the pliers. After you have those, all you have to do is right click the ends of the bridge to open the entrance gap. That's pretty much it. It's a simple mod with simple blocks, but it all really can make a huge difference in your world. It gives a realistic touch to bridges, and the different options it gives makes it super easy to make it fit in with whatever your build style might be. That's all for this one, and as always, I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.